What's up everyone, you're watching Ola testing shit and the shit of the day is the Crank Krankenstein amplifier. Sounds I actually already demoed the Krankenstein in 2010. That's a long time ago. Eight years, to be exact. And in the past year, I've been trying to kind of like get a hold of all the dime bag related uh, guitar amplifiers and gear, and uh, might as well get the Krankenstein back. Basically, just test it out and see if it still sounds as I remember. And uh, yeah, no, I just wanted to test shit. You know, and play a Pantera and uh, play the Dimebag Washburn Dime guitar. So for this demo, I'm using this Washburn 3, look at that 3 right there, ST, into uh, Fortin Sewell. Don't know if you can see it. And I found for this amplifier, I already tried it out a little bit, I found that this Horizon Devices Nano Attack was working really well. So I'm using that one. I also used the, uh, you know, the Furman PQ3 and the uh, uh, MXR 6 band equalizer, but I didn't think it sounded. Uh, like it should. So that's why I'm using this one straight into the Krankenstein and through my Hesu 2x12 cabinet I'm using two microphones this time. I'm using a MTP440 LeWitt and a M160 microphone and I'm gonna switch between them a little bit, okay? <gasps> Good talk. And I also have splitting <laughs> headache right now, but I thought I would remedy that with playing loud on an amplifier. That usually helps. Man, you have lot of fun. Fun. Just drop my pick a little bit. So it has two channels. It has the dime channel and a clean channel. And. Uh, it's a little bit weird, this amplifier, because it has a sweep and it works so different depending on how you set the volumes of the amplifier. So right now, I had the master volume, where is it, over there, set to around 2 o'clock and then I'm kind of like controlling the channel volume right here, but depending on where you set the master volume, the sweep control works really weird. So at this point, it's kind of good actually, but when you have the master volume down here, Sounds like ass, basically. We don't want uh, things to sound like ass. Okay, let's try out the sweep. Oh, that's distorting. Okay, can I turn it down a little bit? Uh, okay. It's just way too much low end there when the sweep knob's at zero. Then you open it up. really thins out the tone. <laughs> it's really pushing. Like 100 to 200 hertz right there, it's like a, like a fist in your ass, basically. Thank you. 
Yeah, shit. Ouch, in my ears. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's very. Uh, 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 it has. It has a very spiky type of high end, which is a little just a tad bit irritating, but it still sounds really good. It is chunky though. I forgot to <laughs> lock the Floyd Rose. Worth mentioning is that the Crank Crankenstein was the only tube amplifier or signature amplifier that Dimebag ever had. And I'm not even sure he had one in the first place. They designed it, but I'm not sure uh, he lived for the final product to be released. Because all the other Randalls were obviously uh, a solid state. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Just like on the album. Yeah, how do I change the sound? Can I? Is there a... I... You know what? <laughs> I don't think I can change the sound. Unless I have a foot switch. And I know for sure that I don't have a foot switch up here in my room. It's down in the basement. So, good old uh, making a demo of the Crank Crankenstein cannot play the clean sound. Well, who cares anyway? Let me at least try a different guitar. Uh, let's tune to drop, uh, drop uh, C. Because the Dimebag guitar was tuned to, to standard E. Here's a guitar with drop C, I think. Yes, agree. So let's hear. Yeah.
this this Dimebag has that Bill Lawrence L500XL, and uh, it sounds great. And also, this guitar is tuned to standard E. But dude, I just reminded myself that the Duncan Solar is a killer pickup. <laughs> You know what? I like this amplifier. I'm not sure how it would sound recorded. Probably like ass because I'm an ass. But I really like this sound. I mean, it's the the low end thump. It's just a little bit too much, I must say. But it's manly. Oh, that's it. My head kept taking more. Okay, I finally proved my point. Uh, what was the point? Loud amplifiers do not help headaches. I wish it would, but uh, that was a lot of fun, even if my headache is way worse now and I'm starting to sweat. But uh, yeah, shit. Sounded really good. I think. I think my solar guitar sounded better than my Dimebag guitar in this sense, but then again, you can be fooled because this was down-tuned, it just sounds more manly with a down-tuned guitar. But I think it sounded really good with the Dimebag as well, just that I thought it might sound a little better. Uh, maybe it's just my head being, uh, being f***ed up right now, but yeah. So there you go, that's the Crank Crankenstein for you. This is the first rendition, by the way, there's a plus version out there, and I think there's a Crank Crankenstein number two somewhere. Uh, I'm not even sure Crank is around anymore. Who knows? Who cares? It's a great amplifier, I must say. Well, that's it. Uh, Ola England testing shit. Crank Crankenstein, not shit. Great. I'm happy. Do you want to buy this amplifier? It's for sale. Where is it? Maybe I'll just keep it. Sounds really good. Guys, if you like this video, please put a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for, you know, just being half sick but still making killer ass chugging demos. Because, I mean, this is, this is what I do. Uh, you know, you can't really call in sick. If you're the the boss. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.